Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can fix the problem with face ID is not available and what you can do to fix it. So here it says try, try setting up face ID later again. So I'm going to tap on OK and then we go back to the home screen by swiping up and you can now try a number, a different number of uh, solutions, see if you can fix it. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is to check, make sure nothing is covering the camera at the top here. If you have a case or some sort of accessory that is covering the top notch, you may want to remove it and make sure the top part of the phone is nice and clear. And give that a try. Also another thing is uh, if you are wearing a hat or some something that's covering parts of your face, you may want to remove it so that nothing is covering your face. Another thing that you can do is to restart your iPhone. So press on the side button here and the volume up key, press and hold. And then power off, slide across to power off the device. Once it is switched off, you can press on the side button to turn it on to restart the phone. So I'm just going to press on it to restart the phone. So give that a try. Once the phone restarted, try to open Face ID and see if that fixed the problem. Now, if you're trying to use Face ID with your iPhone in landscape mode, that may not work so well. So you may want to turn your phone around in portrait mode and uh, make sure your phone is facing in portrait mode. And tap on the get started to make sure that works um, uh, correctly in the right orientation. And uh, another thing that you can do is you go into um, settings and in settings, make sure you add, that you update your software to the latest version. So from settings, tap on general and then tap on software update and make sure you have uh, update your iPhone to the latest version. So you can see in here, it's a iOS 16.2. It is up to date. Make sure you have update your software up to the latest version. Now, another thing that you want, might want to do is to reset your iPhone in DFU mode. That basically allowing your iPhone to restore back to the factory default. Now, this might be the last thing that you want to try. If you try everything else and if it doesn't work, then you may want to try resetting your device in DFU mode. So you need to plug your iPhone into the computer, download the firmware, and then have it installed. Uh, make sure before you do that, make sure you have backup all your data. So back up your uh, iPhone data to your MacBook or to your iMac. If you are using Windows computer, then use iTunes to back it up before you proceed with a DFU restore or a factory data reset. And give that a try. And finally, we can try uh, to um, um, troubleshoot on the hardware side. Now, if you are replacing the LCD, make sure that the replacement is genuine or at least bring the camera parts over. So the camera has a true depth of field, which is used for Face ID. So make sure that you bring the original parts over. So this is the original parts right here. So you want to bring it over to your new uh, replacement screen and that way it will fix the Face ID issue. Okay, so with uh, this particular issue that I have, what I did is I bring over the original uh, EP's component. So I'll bring over the speakers and microphone over and now you can see uh, with my iPhone 11, I no longer have the Face ID issues. So I no longer have the Face ID issues. And that's it. Thank you for watching.